Shane Dawson said the new Jake Paul video would be out on Wednesday, but it didn't come out until Thursday. What the f What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I like to do is pull things going on in the YouTube community or pop culture in general, and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I just got back from Los Angeles. I was at Vid Summit. So everybody, Zach, Zach agreed that he will still help me with editing, so he will be back soon, all right? Usually I'm a, just a one-man show, but I love what he does so, so, so much. So anyways, Zach will be back. And yeah, in case you guys didn't get it yet, like the beginning of this video, that was just like a joke. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to make this video, like as I was driving back from uh, Los Angeles, like I, I don't know, about an hour outside of Las Vegas, this thing got stuck in my head, and I don't know, I'm just, this type of guy where things get stuck in my head, I'm like, I gotta put this out in a video, all right? There's a lot of stuff that everybody can learn from this situation. Um, I have a lot of new videos planned. I've been keeping a ton of notes on my phone, so I, I have, I'm really excited for this little series that I'm gonna uh, put out, kind of in between the Shane Dawson stuff. So basically what's going on is Shane is getting some flack for posting the Jake Paul the new Jake Paul, The Secrets of Jake Paul, he posts it a day late, all right? He's gotten some pushback. Um, he has some new tweets up that I'm gonna dive into, and he's talking about taking a break for a few months and just just some things about some of the, some of the flack he's been getting about posting this video a little bit late. So the first thing I wanna say, everybody, is thank you so much for supporting my channel and trying to get my videos out to Shane. And I just wanna say, Shane Dawson actually emailed me. All right, so stop tweeting at him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet or anything, but he is, he always comes out to Las Vegas, so hopefully I'll have the opportunity to meet up with him then. Not sure what's gonna happen, but hopefully I get to see him while he's here in Las Vegas. Uh, but anyways, so basically what happened, like when I got to Los Angeles, I posted my video about how I was in a Shane Dawson you know, video, and I was like, yo, Shane, I'm in town this week, let's meet up or something, right? And part of Shane's email was like, yo, I'm sick in bed, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. And I knew he was sick in bed because when I looked at his tweets, he was tweeting about how he was sick in bed. So like, I wanna just talk about that situation, and I think it's important too, because I know a lot of you are new here, but right before I got this huge influx in subscribers, I actually made a video about like, are these YouTubers good role models? And the three examples I used were Tana Mojo, Bobby Burns, and Trisha Paytas, all right? So I used them as an example, but the focus of that video was like, your actions speak louder than words and you gotta be accountable. So Tana, just like a quick recap, I'll link the video up there if you wanna check it out. Just a quick recap, Tana, when she came back after the whole TanaCon thing, she said, Monday at noon, Monday at noon, Monday at noon. Like she said this like 50,000 times and then she posted her video like hours late, right? Bobby Burns, I pointed out the fact that he's he took this, you know, mental health break and all that, no shame on him for a mental health break, but then he told everybody, yo, I'm gonna consistently be uploading on Fridays. And then like, it, within like a week or two, he was posting on Saturdays, you know? So he wasn't holding himself accountable. Trisha Paytas, that one was kind of like a gray area. Um, I talked about how she goes back and forth on, is she gonna stop doing mukbangs? And is she really, you know, living a healthy lifestyle? And then she goes back and forth and back and forth. But as somebody who bounces back and forth from trying to lose weight, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I get it, I get it. And hopefully Trisha is doing well with her weight loss journey. So I know it might seem a little contradictory that I'm making this video, and I already know what, the, what some of the comments are gonna say, and I'm totally cool with it, and you'll see why pretty soon. Some of the comments are gonna say, Oh, Chris, you're just you're just sticking up for Shane because because he he posted a comment on your video and and he sent you an email. Well, I don't know. Like, have your own opinion about it. Like, you do you, baby girl. I think it's important to talk about this because I don't see this as contradictory. So Shane Shane has you know done this series and it's an eight part series and he had a schedule and he tries to let you know when he's going to be doing it and like. 
it's funny because I just uh, finished watching the new Drew Gooden video from this past week, and he was talking about like this entitlement of the viewers on YouTube. Or YouTube, and I'm like, yes, like because that's exactly what I was gonna kind of talk about. But he talks about how like people are like, getting so mad about this free content that they're getting, right? Like it's it's insane, and like one of the things that you know comes up, they're like, oh, we're we're the ones putting money in your pockets, and like. I, it's a real interesting type of entitlement when you say we're putting money in your pocket even though all you're doing is watching ads, right? Now I know some people buy merch, some people um, support creators on Patreon and all that and you all are amazing. But typically the ones complaining are the ones that are doing like the least amount of anything, right? But aside, aside, aside from the entitlement, like just the lack of like, empathy, all right? So even though I'm a huge, huge advocate of keeping your word and doing what you're, you say you're gonna do, like, let's go back in history real quick, okay? On October 8th, Shane posts, first off, I have a bladder infection and I just peed blood. Happy Monday. Secondly, part five in 20 minutes. October 9th, part six coming Thursday. Sorry for the delay. My health issue set me back a bit. Thanks for all the nice tweets last night. Another tweet from October 9th. I'm so happy you guys liked yesterday's video. We worked really hard on it. We are still trying for part six tomorrow, but my bladder infection put me back a little and I couldn't edit yesterday. But we are going full force today. Worst case scenario, it will be up Thursday. All right, so this man, this man is laid up in bed with a bladder infection peeing blood, okay? Let's just paint this picture. And I know, and Shane, if you see this, I'm sorry that I'm having people picture you laying in bed and when you urinate, it's peeing blood, but you put that image in our heads. All right, but I just wanna just kind of like paint this picture real quick of what's going on, okay? So then I see Shane uh, tweet this on October 10th. He retweets this. So somebody said, Please finish editing docs in the future before even deciding to announce it. This is like the third time you stretch it and it's pretty irresponsible to keep uh, keep your word when you're gonna upload stuff instead of stretching it out for so long. Love ya, but you gotta fix this. Shane replies, I've been releasing two hours of content a week and I've been making it with one person. I feel like I'm allowed to take an extra day or even an extra few days if I need it when my is bleeding. Like. Like the entitlement, like what? Like, I don't know. Okay, do you guys understand what's happening with YouTube right now? Like, I think creators understand. I think some, a lot of you understand, but some people don't understand. Like Shane is putting out like Netflix quality documentaries on YouTube with him and freaking Andrew. Okay, like, do you like, can anybody even imagine? Like, can anybody even imagine this, right? Like the stuff that I had Zach doing for me, like you see what we do, like he pokes fun at me, I say goofy stuff, that's it. These guys had to torture themselves by watching like 50 million hours of Jake Paul videos and you guys are like, you need to hurry up and post these videos. Like, what? Where is this entitlement coming from? So this next tweet that he retweeted got deleted, probably because this person was like, oh my God, like Shane Dawson retweeted me and I looked like a jerk. But anyways, Shane Dawson replies, next time I'm going to just take more time and not care about why aren't you posting and your lazy tweets. I probably won't be uploading for a few months after the series is over. So yeah, that's like why I wanted to make this video. Like this is crazy. Okay. so. So let me use myself as an example and just a real quick recap of why I'm so, so passionate about keeping your word, being accountable, being on time, right? I was a drug addict and alcoholic for many years and I thought that's why people like my son's mom hated me. No, they hated me because I was completely unreliable. I'm the type of guy where I would tell my kid's mom, hey, I'll be there at five o'clock to pick up our son and I'd show up at six, like every single time. So like as part of my mental health and recovery journey, like I do what I say I'm gonna do, but because I do what I say I'm gonna do, when things happened and fortunately I've never been peeing blood, people understand this because I am so responsible and accountable. Does that make sense? Like, so the first thing I wanna kinda like tell everybody out there who struggles with this, like Shane might be, is like, give yourself a break, okay? Like every now and then, 
my girlfriend Tristan even does this to me sometimes. Like, like, oh yeah, you know, I expect you to be five or ten minutes late. She just gives little jabs. I don't think she gets too mad. Do you get mad? I don't know. But anyways, like, but yeah, I do what I say I'm gonna do. I follow through with my commitments. Sometimes I get stuck in traffic. Sometimes I might be sick. You know what I mean? But like, we minimize this now. Like, Shane is not somebody with like this huge track record of saying things and not following through with them. You know what I mean? So like, at a certain point, you gotta kind of just like, brush this stuff off, all right? Now, this next part, if any of you saw my other video about Katie Morton and Shane Dawson, it's gonna seem a little hypocritical because I talked about unsolicited advice. By the way, a lot of your comments in there were fascinating to me, so I am going to make a video about unsolicited advice because so many people said, yeah, I hate getting unsolicited advice, but I give a lot of unsolicited advice. Really, really interesting. But anyways, Shane, if you end up watching my video, I'm gonna give some unsolicited advice, but Shane might not see this video, I don't know. But this is for all of you, too. Like, so what's interesting to me is like, Shane is probably getting tagged in thousands of tweets a day, right? Thousands of tweets. And it's kind of something I mentioned in the video that Shane saw of mine, like how, you know, the brain is Velcro for negative experiences and Teflon for positive ones, right? So like with all of the praise that he's getting, you see that he's noticing like these people saying you're lazy or you're, you're not posting on time and all this other stuff, right? But like Shane needs to cut himself some slack. But the other thing is too, as a creator and at VidSummit, I had this conversation with so many creators, so many creators, because people get tied up in the negative comments. And like, I'll just tell you right now, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to, at The Rewired Soul, it's up on the screen again. I have started a little virtual art gallery, I like to call it, right? And basically, I like taking hate comments and posting them on my Instagram, because I reply to them and I just laugh, like, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I've made videos about this, like I care so much about what you all think about me, but I equally give absolutely zero f**ks, okay? So like, just kind of keep that in mind. And this is why I reply to these, and I'm usually laughing when I reply to these. So here's a good one. This guy is a tool, irritating voice as well. So I reply, excuse me, sir, I may be a tool, but many are fans of my sensual voice. And he said, ha ha, okay, man, I'll give you that one. Point one for Chris. Oh, here, here's a good one. Y'all Mufka do anything for views. You see opportunity and run for the content. Shake my head. Sad you have to jump on a wavy to get a check. So I replied, should I make videos that don't get views? I think that's a valid question, right? Like, should I, as a content creator on YouTube, should I try, instead of trying hard to make videos that get views, should I try to make videos that don't get views, right? Like, it's just silly. Oh, here, here's another good one. This one actually has a good ending. So this guy says, I really hate your voice. O-M-F-G. So I replied, you should still subscribe. I include captions in my videos so you can mute me and still watch so you get help for your mental and emotional well-being. Ain't no thing, right? Because I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, the happy ending to that, like the guy actually replied and he said, sorry, I was having a rough day. And like, that's kind of what I, I realized. And I've made videos about this in the past. Like, I know a lot of people who are posting these things are having troubles in their life. Like, heck, I have a mental health channel. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. So the very last one, the very last one, this was actually something I just posted on Instagram. And this came from my, uh, hey, I was in the Shane Dawson video. So she says, yeah, cause you kept milking the story for views, go figure. And then in parentheses, congrats though. That's, that's the way to break through. So it's like she was like sassing me and complimenting me. But I replied, yep, don't hate the player, hate the game. So yeah, if any of you are content creators out there or you have some kind of following or maybe you're in school and like people just talk crap or whatever, like, just, man, I, I've said this before, like, you need to work on just really, really not valuing other people's opinions more than your own. I get a ton of backlash. I was actually thinking on my drive today. I am very surprised that, 
with all the views I've gotten, like I've passed over a million views in the past like month or so, I could probably count on less than two hands how many people have called me fat. I was expect expecting that when I started to blow up, like more people would call me fat and they haven't. So I don't know, I still have hope for humanity. But I get comments all the time like, oh, you're turning into a drama channel, you know? There's all sorts of stuff, but it's just like, I cannot value other people's opinions more than my own, especially when I know that my morals and my values are in line. All right? So anyways, this video is gone way longer than I thought it would, So, but I appreciate you hanging out and uh, listening to this. Hopefully Shane sees it. If not, that's cool. I hope you learn from this. But let's do this down in the comments below. Like, how, how important is like accountability and responsibility for you, right? Like, are you somebody who beats yourself up if you're late, even if you like are sick? Like, okay, this is an even better question. Are you someone who feels guilty about calling in sick to work? Like, I can make a whole video about this. Like, let me know down in the comments, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, again, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I got some new patrons while I was out of town, so boom. Now they're up on the thank you list. All right, if you wanna join and uh, help support the channel, you can click or tap on the Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.